guys, Fujoshi Commentary here, and today I wanted to make a short little video kind of pleading and sort of offering my voice to sort of help this artist in a way that the best way I know how. Now a lot of you may have heard about the new acclaimed BL slash psychological crime horror manhwa called Killing Stalking, and it's by the artist Kugi who is a Korean manhwa artist and She's recently come out with a sort of plea, a sort of discontent vibe that she's been having lately, which is understandably so as an artist trying to make money and trying to make a living off of what she does. Now, basically, we all know when we started latching on to Killing Stalking, a lot of it was accessible via free manga streaming websites, which are often done by scanlation groups who often take the original content from the raws of whatever place it's being hosted and translate them without the proper consent of the artist. Sometimes it works out, people get more publicity and they get more money, but in this case, it's kind of showing that it is a potential downfall for this artist. And Kugi has expressed recently that she doesn't like the fact that she's uh, how her works are being pirated, which in a way, understandably, it's the ways of the internet. If you put something online, it's going to be used, downloaded, shared around, uh, sometimes to your benefit and sometimes not. But in a situation where this actually would be better and it's just as easy to buy what she's giving out as a product than to pirate it, I really agree with what she's saying. Now I personally have been reading Killing Stalking on Litsyn since you know I found out about it through um, other manhwa. I have been buying the chapters and I've been reading it through there, but you know, there are people who don't really want to wait for the chapters because they're like two or three chapters behind in each of the English website and then there's the Korean website. The Korean website is usually two or three chapters ahead of the English translation because obviously it takes a little while to translate, so people will go ahead and scanlate them or get someone to translate them and share them around in the various groups. Now I say this because there are a group of vigilante Fujoshis who think they're helping Kugi and going around reporting groups instead of just saying, hey guys, it would be much better to support uh, the artist on Litsyn. I beg and plead with anyone who is a fan of Killing Stalking and wants to read it online and really enjoys the story and wants to keep reading with progression is if you can, if you can, even if you do read it online for free, I beg, beg, beg you to at least buy the comics, you know, by the chapters and the installments. The way Litson's website is basically run is that every single manhwa you read from their websites have each chapter listed on a list below as on the screen. And most of the time the typical manhwa will have one or two or three, sometimes even five chapters for free as like a preview sample. And if you like it, they really would appreciate it if you buy it. Then they have the little coins. Two or three coins is like 75 cents. A lot of these chapters are payable through like three to two coin payments which are literally under a dollar and so I advise anyone who has the money and can pay a little bit like under a dollar out of their pocket to read these manhwa and support this artist I strongly strongly advise it. and I will link below both the Korean manhwa that she creates and the English translated one, which all proceedings from both of the English and Korean ones will go to Kugi directly. And on the other opposite end of the spectrum, I do not think and I do not condone people going around mass reporting the killing stalking fan groups and trying to destroy them because they've shared few chapters previously before. Most of the people I've met do advise that they look into it. Most people don't even know that Litson is a thing or how easy and how affordable it is. Instead of going around reporting and mass flagging people just because you think you're going to be a vigilante and do the justice that you think you're serving, is it's not going to help anything. If anything, it's further dividing the sort of tension between Fujoshis right now, which amazing. Beginning of 2017 and we start off with a big split down the Fujoshi fandom. But in any event, I recommend that if you have people who don't know about Litsyn, show them this video, tell them about Litsyn, tell them about how easy and affordable it is, and I guarantee you, as we are shown demographically to be one of the people who buys and purchases our items that are interested to our taste the most, they will buy. And if you don't know, in Korea, 
comic book artists, manhwa, manga, all that stuff is looked down upon even more in Korea than you would think in Japan or in the United States. It's very, very, very low on the scale when it comes to like being a part of society. People don't really take well to it and it's very possible that this manhwa creation could be put on hold or completely stopped because of all of this because you don't really make much of a living and that's the only way she can suffice and support herself. So I really, 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 really beg. I know I keep saying I beg and I'm pleading with you guys, please, 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 support Miss Kugi on her beautiful, beautiful, beautiful manhwa that we all know and love and so she can work towards the money to support herself and the fact that she'll have, she's already second place in Lidzin's contest for best manga and she already won the best BL award on Lidzin, so let's help her grow and expand. I would think of it as how a lot of people in the United States and the Western world support Sakami-chan and her art on her Patreon. It's kind of the same thing, but even even less expensive than your typical sort of Patreon. Patreon, the most you, the less you, the least you can pledge on Patreon is a dollar. But here, it's under a dollar. And it's really, really, really gonna help her and motivate her to do this and to really put forth her career because, come on, let's face it, she's made a damn good mama that at the least has got people talking, communicating, re-examining, just got us all on edge, whether we're crying, shocked, disturbed. She has different emotions to different people. And I really want to see her grow and strive as a fellow artist. I want to see my other fellow artists grow and blossom. If you really want to get the word out there and help Kugi get out there and get with what she's doing and help create more of Killing Stalking so we can find out what's going to happen in the story, please share this video with your friends. Share it in various yaoi groups. Get the word out. Because not only with Killing Stalking, there are other great manhwa that are translated in English and even raw in Korean that you can support other manhwa with and this is kind of like a revolutionary platform which is second to webtoons where they actually do it for free but every view you get goes to being featured on webtoons as well as getting a percentage this is actually directly paying for them please 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 this is a way and a new revolution to help artists get money and work to survive and live off of their own art. I really, really, really advise people to do what they can to support. If you can't just buy the manhwa or, you know, buy the chapters, please share and spread awareness that there is an easy and extremely affordable alternative to help support this artist any way you can. I'm trying to do my part because I already do the supporting, but I do want to get a voice out there and help this artist because She's got all the success, yet it seems like all of her spoils are dwindling. I really, really hope that we can get this out there and help Kugi get back her determination to make this manhwa because it is damn good and it deserves every bit of coin that it needs to be flown at to make and see to the end. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not done so already and you found this video to be awesome and to your liking, please give it a like. Also, if you felt like there was any sort of questions you have or you're not sure how the website Libsyn works, please feel free to comment down below or if you just have any sort of comment you want to add, comment down below. And also, if you're new here, I have other videos about manhwa and about killing stalking in particular. I also do a yaoi news segment where I give out all the cool yaoi news coming out of Japan and different developments in BL or as well as any sort of anime news that affects that genre in some sort of way as a whole. And with that being said, guys, peace, love, and stay grooving humans. Bye!